Good morning. I hope you enjoyed the long weekend. Let's get Tuesday started now on ITV as we join the team on Good Morning Britain. Good morning, Britain. High street shops will be allowed to reopen from June the 15th as part of the plan to ease lockdown and get the economy moving again. No apology and no regrets. The Prime Minister's top adviser, Dominic Cummings, insists he didn't break his own lockdown rules by driving to Durham. We'll meet the devoted care worker who was reunited with her seven-year-old daughter after nearly two months apart to the soundtrack of their favourite song. And after eight, two of our favourite TV judges, Michelle Visage on shooting her new lockdown show in LA, and Arlene Phillips, who's auctioning herself off for the NHS. Cloudy skies for many of us today with some patchy rain and drizzle, but there will be some sunshine and still some warmth, and it will be sunnier and warmer still through the next few days. We'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Tuesday, 26th of May, 2020, live from Television Centre in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Charlotte Hawkins. Good morning, Britain. It is six o'clock. Welcome to the programme. Here are the latest developments in the coronavirus crisis. Most non-essential shops can open for business from the 15th of June under new government guidance to further lift the country out of lockdown. Retailers have welcomed the news, but shopkeepers who fail to comply with new safety rules will risk fines and up to two years in prison. Another day in Downing Street for Dominic Cummings. In an hour-long press briefing, the Prime Minister's top aide said he believes he made the right decision to drive 260 miles to his parents' home during lockdown. The Prime Minister says he regrets the confusion and anger caused by the controversy. And farmers are facing a 40,000-strong shortage in their seasonal workforce because of travel restrictions in the pandemic. It's hoped a new recruitment drive will encourage more British people to apply for harvesting jobs. And the latest official figures show there have been 261,184 confirmed cases in the UK and 36,914 recorded deaths in hospitals, care homes and the wider community.